solve 159.12 divided by 6.8. I'm going to write this out as a long division problem. Now a cool trick, and one that is very important to know, is if we're dividing decimals with a decimal dividend and a decimal divisor, what we can do is we can move that decimal point over one place in either direction. So for example, if I moved the 6.8 over to now have 68 as my divisor, I would have to also move the decimal point from 159.12 to 1,591.2. And now we're going to solve a decimal pro or our division problem. Before I ever start division problems involving decimals, I always put the decimal up where my quotient will go to remind me that I'm working with a decimal in the dividend and to make sure that I keep my place value correct. The first question I'm going to ask myself is, does the number 68 fit into uh, 1. And the answer there is no, it doesn't. Can 68 fit into 15? Once again, it cannot. But 68 can fit into 159. And the question is, how many times can it fit into 159 before it goes over 159? And I'm going to take a guess at 2. I know that 70 times 2 is 140, so 68 times 2 is probably right around that. And when I multiply it out, I see that 68 times 2 is 136, which is uh, just below 159. So 68 fits into 159 twice, with a remainder on that part of 23. Now I'm going to bring down the 1 and ask myself a new question. How many times will 68 fit into 231? Well, what I know is that if I were to try to do 68 fit it four times, that's basically like saying 70 would fit four times. But 70 times four gives you a total of 280, and that's too much. So I'm going to try 68 times three. And when I solve that, you'll see that I get a total of 204, which is below 231. Last but not least, I find my remainder there, which would be 27, and I bring down our last digit, which is a 2. And now I'm going to try uh, 68 times 4, because 70 times 4 was just below 280. When I solve 68 times 4, I find out it has a total of 272, showing me that 68 fit into 272 four times exactly, leaving us with no remainder, and our correct answer of 23.4.